Coming up in today's news brief, a longtime law enforcement officer in the Vicksburg Police Department is retiring after 30 years. Stay tuned. We have the details. It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News Brief, brought to you by your friends at Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601-TRACTOR. Hey, it's Marcus James, and you're streaming the Vicksburg Daily News Brief. The cost of natural gas is twice the amount that it was this time last year, but Mayor Flagg says the increase should not affect Vicksburg water and gas customers. The city's additional expense is estimated at $1.6 million this winter. After meeting with the consultant in the gas industry, the mayor and aldermen determined that the city's surplus and gas funds should suffice to cover the cost. With, uh, there's no guarantee that it won't be a rate increase next year, but I think it's counterproductive for us to raise rate and get raised at the same time. Uh, I prefer cutting raises and cutting employees before we start continuing to pass on the cost of gas to people on fixed income and the poor people of this city. I refuse to do it. Vicksburg's newest family-owned and operated restaurant is bringing soul food to the south side of town. The Coleman family opened Eliz Restaurant and Catering just a few weeks ago, and their homemade southern cooking is already generating a buzz around town and on social media. For a sneak peek, of course, you can visit our website at vicksburgnews.com. How goes the car shopping? We found the one. Just waiting on financing. Oh! There it is, approved. That was quick. How'd you do that? That reminds me, I need to pay my water bill. Oh, you guys need money for lunch today. Great, I don't have to split the check. How did you do that? Did he buy a boat? How <gasps> did you do that? <gasps> Who do you bank with? Mutual, mutual credit, credit union. union. Where are you going? To set up an account with Mutual Credit Union. <laughs> Use, Use the app. Mutual Credit Union, banking that comes to you. Because there should be nothing between you and your money. And in our top story, legendary lawman Jeff Merritt is retiring after 30 years as a law enforcement officer and a lifetime in the law enforcement community. Through the years, Merritt has developed a reputation in the community that is thorough and fair. Merritt's character and integrity and vast experience will be missed on the force. Of course, congratulations to Jeff Merritt from Vicksburg Daily News. Former Vicksburg High School football coach Tavares Johnson Sr. has now led his new team, Simmons High School, to a district championship. The team won a district championship on Friday in their 62-0 win. This is Johnson's second stint with the team. Tristan Wilbanks and Adam Francisco both signed baseball scholarships today surrounded by family and friends. Wilbanks will go on to play at Hines Community College, while Adam Francisco will go on to play at Holmes Community College. Both of them still have their senior year at St. Aloysius High School. Former St. Aloysius baseball player Hayden Luke has now committed to Nicholas State University. Luke made the announcement on his Twitter page today and he'll further his baseball career next season. Alex Long has a quick look at weather in the area. Alex? Hey Marcus. Well tomorrow we will see sunny skies with a high near 73. And Wednesday we have a 40% chance of rain with a high near 63. Thursday, we have a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms with a high near 55 degrees. Thank you so much for that update, Alex. Vicksburg Daily News is always looking to help you celebrate your birthday. We're simply asking our viewers to send us a picture, a brief description of them, and how old they'll be turning. We'll do our best to share those as you send them in. Remember, you can stay connected with us and get updates anytime on our website. That's VicksburgNews.com.